Hello, Nigeria. There's no better place to be, so don't you ever change that dial. What's up, everybody? It's Kavam Zasukwa, and you're watching Hello, Nigeria. Thank you for staying with us. Of course, the show continues and we have a lot more in store for you. I'm joined in the studio now by Duni. And you may know Duni from her 2012 hit, Go Better, or her Wizkid Jaye Jaye cover. But Duni is also a music producer. And today I want to find out exactly what it's like being a female in a male-dominated industry. Because we never really speak about that when it comes to music production. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now, on Wednesdays, we love to celebrate women doing great things. So I I will definitely say shout out to you and you are Thank our you. WCW today wow. but I want us to get to the grassroots of your career what right. is it like being a woman as a music producer in Nigeria knowing that it's a very male-dominated industry well it's it's kind of uh, two-sided uh, it's interesting it's challenging but also it's um, not as competitive because there are not very many people that do what I do. So sometimes people are fascinated by it. Other times people are not as interested because they don't think you can deliver. So I feel like as a female producer, I have to up your game and pretty much work twice as hard. I like to always say that um, people, when people listen to music, they don't want to know who made the beat first. Like it doesn't matter whether it's a woman or a man that made it. The music has to be good and it has to speak for itself. So it has always, I don't really see myself as a female producer. I just want to be a very good producer so that my yeah. work can actually speak for myself. Well, that's I, I completely agree with you. Now, what led you to build a passion or grow a passion for producing music? Did you start off as a singer before you started producing or did you start off producing before you got into using your voice as an instrument? Oh, well, it's an interesting journey for me because it's been like on and off. I actually started out wanting to be a producer, but it didn't really work out well because there were not a lot of mentors around to show me the ropes. So along the line, I found out I could write songs and I could sing. So I doubled into um, sing songwriting and you know performing and singing. So I started out professionally as an artist, but I didn't really start professional production until um, last year. You know, but I've been producing myself for like two years. And last year, I, last year August, I decided to you know go into that full time. And yeah. you just produced for Sean Tuzzle as yeah, well, didn't you? Did Congratulations that. Thank on that! You, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. That's like my first major cut. Yeah, yeah so that, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. You, now, you. one thing that I always say is that when we get to the top floor in our chosen careers, we should always, as women, send the elevator back down for other women to rise because your chosen position may be someone else's desired position. Definitely. Is this a stance that you are taking in the industry at the moment? Oh, definitely. Uh, well, I don't know if I'm able to speak about this, but I like to mentor young women. Go for it. Because there are not many that are actually interested in this. And recently I was in Ibadan and I had a seminar with My young hometown. Women. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay, so I was in Ibadan on, on Saturday, you know, talking to young girls. They came from um, secondary schools and they came to learn. And a lot of them didn't even know that there was a career possibility in music production, audio production generally. And it was it was fulfilling for me that I could share my story. And as uninteresting as I could sometimes think my story can be sometimes, but it really inspired them. And a lot of them told me that they would want to be a producer. So for me, I, I, I really, really do believe that. Because I wish I had that. Yeah. You know, coming up, I had, I had someone in Nigeria I could look up to, a female producer, it would have made... That's amazing. Control. But how do you then ensure and take that further step to ensure that that's sustainable? You've spoken to these girls, you know that they want to get out there, you know that this is their end goal. What do you plan on doing to making sure that you're actually putting them on a path to go that way so that they don't deviate and go another way, if, okay. by, um, not by chance? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> One of the issues I had coming out was, um, like I said, mentorship. I didn't have somebody that I could mm. really talk to at any time. So I had to learn on my own and through, you know, social media and, you know, just searching stuff on my own. So I told them that instead of using social media to just socialize, you know, do random stuff, you could just talk to me. So I gave out my number. I told them that you, you're free to call mm. me at any time out. I'll teach you whatever you need to do. So for me, I just, um, I breached that communication gap mm. and I made sure that whoever is really interested should just come around. You know, some of them are coming to the stu my studio 
and during the weekend Amazing. so we can have a session. I told him how to make a beat during the session as well. So we made uh, music together. So for me, it's just a practical, you know, it's music. Now, yeah. so it's creative and it's a process. So you Absolutely. Can, yeah. Now, I would say that the music industry is one of the toughest industries for women in Nigeria. And yeah. that's because we've seen a rise of patriarchy in the industry that we don't necessarily want. Mm -hmm. It's shoved women to the sideline. It's not as easy for a female artist to succeed these days as it is for a male artist to succeed. Sure. We see a lot of female artists coming out and praising a single female artist saying, you put us all on the map. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we also see artists that people don't expect them to really blow, let's say, but mm -hmm. they come up and damn, they've got jams and they've blown. Someone like Tenny, for example, you know. Yeah. Now, what would you say that experience is like for you do you think it's one of those that aggravates you that you just need to grab something or do you think that you've actually managed to get to where you want to be for yourself irregardless of the barriers that are unfortunate in our society oh uh, well, thing is uh, like i always say I, I feel like it's quite challenging for females to make it in the industry but i've always had a positive mindset towards life like whatever it looks like an impossibility i turn it into an opportunity so lemons for, to lemonade sort of thing. Yeah, you, you understand. So for me, I, I feel like um, women need to work extra hard because the truth of the matter is we're not as many, but we're also very competitive. Like it's easy for you to find some, I don't want to mention him, some bigger artists mm. that are guys that pull up other younger artists, but it's hard for you to find a female that would actually put a female on in as the artist. Yeah. So we have to figure it out on our own and then work twice as hard. Definitely. It, definitely. So that's what I yeah. go by and, you know, that's now, how it's working. Now, I'd literally be doing a dishonor to both of us if I didn't speak about the sexualization of women in the music industry during this interview. Okay. It's, one thing, it's one thing that we see all the time. A recent, in the international music community, we've, pe we've seen people coming for Nicki Minaj of late about everything to do with that, etc. Now, how do, we, how do we speak to young women to show them that you don't have to be sexualized if you don't want to be sexualized. You can make it without that sexual side, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. it's it's as though the mindset is that you've got to be sexual to be appealing mm -hmm. as an artist or a female artist. How yeah. do we eradicate that? Uh, thing is, it's really beyond um, the female music industry or the music industry. I think sex generally is overrated. They use it to set almost everything, so it's in your face. So personally, I anything that everybody ten, tends to do, I tend to shy away from it. Like, I like to just go against the norm. Okay, tell me. So, so, yeah, like definitely. What? <laughs> so personally now, everybody wants to show skin, everybody mm. wants to be sexy. I'm like, okay, let me be the exception. You just want to be cool. I yeah. just want to be cool, I just want to make music. Yeah. Like, for me, and I think it takes away from the music. Like, a lot of times when you sexualize a woman, and the interesting thing is that, let me tell you this. Yeah. The interesting thing is that most of these females actually sing better than the guys. Mm -hmm. Let's take the Nigerian music industry, for example. Now. The females are actually more talented. Yeah. So when you sexualize them, you're taking away from the talent and shoving the sexuality in people's faces. So it's, just, it's distracting, you, you understand? But then again, I understand that some people like that, they want to be shown as such. But for people that don't think that, don't want to, but they are being pressured to, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's necessary. I personally, yeah. anyways. I, I completely agree with you on that. I'm yeah. happy we managed to touch on that. Oh, now, everybody that's made it to a certain level has had people that have influenced them. Now, you mentioned that you wish you had mentors growing up, but I'm sure you had certain people in the music industry that influenced you and you thought, damn, that's a producer I want to be like, or that's an artist I want to be like. Who sure. would those people be? Uh, Timbaland, American yeah. industry. Timbaland, I love Timbaland. I love Alicia Keys. I love Asha. Most. And most recently, someone that's actually been able to mentor me is Gospel on the Beats. And amazing. Really amazing yeah. That's amazing. That's Thank amazing. You. So last but not least, where do you also see your career? Uh, do I want to say five years time or ten years time? Let's go with five. Five years. Uh, well, truth is, I just want to be able to have said that I've touched lives. Yeah. And I, if it is, um, people can actually say that my music has changed them, yeah, their life has been inspired. If my music has actually inspired them, uh, I feel like I've made it in life, you know, definitely. So that's, in the next five years, I should have a record label by then, I should have plenty of videos, songs. And claim it, claim it, claim it, it's coming yeah, your way. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. But, but after all of that, for me, the most important thing is that I've been able to change lives and just influence people and inspire people. Well, that's amazing. And Thank I'm you. pretty sure that you're going to get to exactly where you need to be. Yeah. What advice would you give to young women out there who are watching, they want to get into the music industry, but they have fear in them? Um, see, 
very simple it's mind over matter whatever you can you know imagine you can definitely achieve so it starts from your mind just condition your mind to believe that you can achieve whatever it is that you put your mind to it i'm a little bit of testimony there we know. go yeah so you can do it too so <laughs> brilliant awesome. brilliant and how can people follow you on social media if they uh, want to find out more yeah it's as official duny official d-u-n-n-i-e on instagram and on twitter and on youtube it's just duny on facebook so you can DM me, DM me, I'm nice. <laughs> She's very nice, people. <laughs> Official Duni across all social media platforms. Don't forget, so if you have any questions or you're intrigued, then make sure you do check her out. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.